Hello, everyone. So I wanted to go over something that you're going to probably find to be extremely helpful in going forward, especially when you're working with census data. You'll notice that with the census data, I've downloaded some here for you. You can see that census usually has this really quirky geo identifier on it. Typically, you don't want all this stuff. You just want the last typically five digits, especially when it's census data and when you're trying to join it with some type of shape file. So the question becomes, how do you get this identifier in Excel to just take a look at these last digits here? Uh, well, there's a simple trick that you can do in Excel. And so let me right click here and I'm going to insert a new column. And what I'm going to do is just use a very simple formula. It's called, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but I'm going to use it. So equal, and then we're going to use this, what's called right function. And so it's going to be right function. I'm going to click on this cell, comma, and then I use len, L-E-N, which is short for length. And then I do parentheses again, once again using this column, minus the number of digits I want to get rid of, going actually from the left to the right. And I want to get rid of these first nine digits so that we're just left with the last five. So I'm just going to say minus nine, close parentheses, and there it is. So now I've got 01007, which is the last five digits that we want in this identifier. I'm going to fill it down for the entire table. So I'll just select that first cell. Then I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom. <laughs> There's a lot of points of data. This census was for every county in the United States, so there's over 3,000. Um, click on Shift and the mouse button, so now all these cells are selected. I'm using a MacBook. The windows might be a little bit different, but I'll just click on Edit, Fill, Down, and now all of my digits have stayed. And You can see that we've just got the last five for the identifier, so this is great. Let me scroll back to the top. I'm going to call this geo um, ID 2. You know, in addition to that, I'm going to get rid of this second column here. It's going to get in the way. Um, so there we go. We've got what we need. I'm going to save this. But then what I want to do also is save this as a .csv because you know that when we're importing into ArcGIS Pro, it's got to be .csv. So I'm just going to call this census and we'll just say test for the moment. And again, it's a .csv, so we're good to go and I'm going to save this. Okay, now let me open this. Let me close this. And let's take a look at what I just did. I'm going to open this again, but now it's a .csv, and let me show you something. And I know that you're very well aware of this. Now when we take a look at this, if it's just the CSV file, the first zeros are gone because CSV is basically comma delimited number. And I have tried left and right to convert this to text and add the zero in the front. I've been successful, but then when I open up the project again, the zero is gone, <laughs> like no matter what I do. I have another trick for you so that when you add this data into ArcGIS Pro, you can put that zero back on and then you can convert it to a text. And so I'm going to open up ArcGIS Pro right now. I'm going to add this to ArcGIS Pro, then I'm going to show you that next little trick. So for the moment, let me take a quick pause, and the next time you see me, we'll be back in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so I've got ArcGIS Pro open. I'm going to open up a blank map template, and I always like doing this because, again, the geodatabase file is completely set up when you do this. And so here we are. Here's our map template, and I want to view our catalog pane. And here it is, my project 28. That's what I'm working on. So I'm going to import that table that we were just looking at. So let's import the table. And this was our census test. Let me make sure I can find it. I put it on my desktop. And let's scroll down. And here it is, census.testcsv. So we'll put this into our geo database. I'll just call this census data and we'll run it. 
Okay, so we added it. We can't see it. Let's uh, take a look at our contents pane. There it is. Here's our census data. Let me get rid of this for the moment. And you know, while I'm doing this, let me add a shape file. So we're going to import our shape file into this project as well. So what we're dealing with, this is actually coming from assignment five. So I'll open up the assignment five geo database and we'll add US counties. And we'll just keep the name US counties. That's fine. And we'll run this and add it to our project. Okay, so this is now added. Let's close this and let's take a look at the US counties attribute data. Here it is. And when we take a look at the attribute data, let's take a look at the geo identifier. You see, we got geo ID 10, and in this shape file, it's text. We know it's text because it's on the left, and it's five digits long, right? It's just simply five digits. But now, when we take a look at our census data and we open this attribute table up, Here's our GeoID2. This was the one we had just saved. And again, we lost that leading zero. It's gone. And not only that, it's a number. It's .csv. So of course, what we want to do is create a new field. And we know about this. So we're going to call this GeoID text. This will be our new field. And then we're going to call this, or we're going to define this as a text as well. And we'll save it. Actually, before we do, though, I want to add. No, we'll keep this. So we're going to save this. And so now when we go back to our census data attribute table, we have this nice empty field, which is at the very far end. It's all null data because we don't have anything in it yet. We'll right click on it, calculate field. And here what we'll do is our geo ID text is just simply going to be geo ID 2 and we'll click apply and of course now we've converted all of our numbers into text but now we still got a problem because we've lost that first zero identifier and if you were to try to join this table with this shape file you could do it but there still be a lot of null cells because every cell that didn't have this zero identifier won't be able to join the US counties that had that leading zero identifier on it, right? So you'll get data, but you'll have a bunch of holes in the data. So now what we need to do is actually convert this geo ID and make sure that it is five digits long or five characters long. And so we can do that. We've got this is GeoID text, and what we're going to do is, okay, let's just say okay for the moment. We're going to calculate this field again. So I'm going to right click on this, calculate field. And now what we want to do is take this GeoID text and make sure that it has five characters. And by default, the very first character, if there's nothing there, it'll turn into a zero. So we've got our GeoID text is going to equal geoid text and then in python script you're going to come down here on this right side and select dot z fill and dot z fill we're going to put five because we want five characters click apply and okay and now take a look we have just added that zero back to the identifier and we're good to go. Now all the other ones that didn't need a zero, that's fine because they were already five digits long, so it doesn't add anything to it. So all those, all those identifiers stay the same. Now what, that we've done that, we can go back to US counties. We're now gonna do our joins and relate, add join, and we're gonna join the geo ID 10 on the US counties with the geo ID text. On our census table, click OK. Now when we take a look at the US counties, we've got everything joined together and there's no null. <laughs> so everything's saved 
well. Now you'll notice here, by the way, I didn't go into the process in Excel and change the titles of these like you're supposed to, whether it's heating fuel from uh, burning wood or coal or whatever the case may be. So you're gonna, of course, go back and do all that stuff. But I just wanted to show you how you can actually create that identifier from number to text and keep that leading zero and you're using it um, you're, you're pretty much doing that within ArcGIS Pro and of course Excel so I think maybe um, those are some things you didn't know I recently learned those little tricks the one in Excel and of course the one here using a little bit of Python script with the calculator the field calculator okay as always if there's any questions or concerns please feel free to reach out to me. All right, until next time, bye-bye.